In this video, I will show you how to create your own ERC20 token without any coding. We are going to use Talkpad, a no-code tool for creating tokens. With Talkpad, anybody can create their tokens in 40 seconds only, even your grandma. But before using this tool, you need to understand what is a token. A token is a digital asset on the blockchain. It has a ledger that maps crypto addresses to token balances. If you are new to crypto, a crypto address is just like an account number. Beside the ledger, it's also possible to transfer tokens between addresses. So a token is like a mini bank, except that it's on the blockchain. It manipulates token, not real money. And anyone can create a token. So now you know the basics, but how can you create your own token? A first solution would be to create a token from scratch without using any tool. But if you do this, it's quite complex. First, you need to create the code of the token, which requires some coding skills. Then you need to deploy the token to the blockchain, create a liquidity pool, supply the initial liquidity, and do an airdrop. Are you lost? Don't worry, because if you use Talkpad, it's going to cover all these steps. You just have to click on a few buttons. And even if you are a blockchain developer, Talkpad can still be very useful because it can save you a lot of time. So let's see how to create a token with Talkpad. The first step is to install a wallet. Wallet is like a password manager, except that instead of passwords, it manages private keys. With your private key, you will be able to interact with a token like deploying a token on the blockchain or transferring tokens to another address. Talkpad accepts one of the following wallets, Metamask, Coinbase Wallet, Wallet Connect, and Rainbow. I recommend Metamask because that's the most popular one. To install Metamask, go to the Chrome Web Store, search Metamask, and click on Install. From now on, Metamask is installed as a Chrome extension on your laptop. The next step is to fund your wallet. When you deploy a token on the blockchain, technically it's what we call a transaction. And to send this transaction, you need to pay transaction fees. Currently, Talkpad can deploy tokens on Base, one of the most popular blockchains. And to pay transaction fees on Base, we need some Ether. Yes, this is not a mistake. Base doesn't have its own native currency. Instead, it uses Ether, the native currency of another blockchain called Ethereum. The easiest way to purchase Ether is to go on a centralized exchange like Coinbase, where you can pay with real money. To deploy a token, you will need anywhere between $1 to $15 in Ether. This can change depending on market conditions. You also need some Ether for the initial liquidity. I will explain this in more details later. Once you have purchased your Ether, you have to send it to your MetaMask wallet. And after that, you will need to transfer this Ether to the base network. The Ether will still belong to you on the same address, but it will be on the base network. And to do this conversion, I recommend to use the official bridge of base. Here is the URL. In the next step, you have to create the code of the token. Technically, a token is a small program on the blockchain. It's coded with a programming language called Solidity. If you don't use any tool, creating a token requires a good knowledge of Solidity. But with Talkpad, you don't have to worry about this since it will create the token for you. To use Talkpad, you go to this URL, then you click on Start Now, then you click on Connect Wallet, you select your wallet, you select the address where you have some Ether, click on Next, click on Connect, and if it's the first time you use the base network, you will also see this dialog. This will configure the base network in MetaMask. You click on Approve, Switch Network, and your wallet is set up. Then you click on Continue. It's time to set up the metadata of our token. The name of your token is very important. You want to choose something short and easy to remember. We are going to call our token Puffin, for example. Then we will set up the ticker. That's a short name that is used on exchanges. Then we will select the image of the token. You will need to upload the picture from your computer. Then you adjust the zoom. Then we click on continue. Next, we are going to set the token supply. This is a very important choice. It can make or break a token. The token supply is the number of tokens that we will have. This is completely arbitrary, but I'm going to give you a valuable tip. Most tokens choose a very large amount. That's because people feel rich when they hold a lot of tokens, even if the price is low. So let's pick 1 trillion and click continue. Now it's time to pick the network that we deploy to. The choice of the blockchain is very important. At the time of recording this video, there is one network available, Base. Base is a great option 
because transaction fees are cheap, which make it attractive for token holders. And in the future, other networks will be added to TokPad. Okay, let's keep going. Next, it's time to select the parameters of the market. This is a very important step because it can make the token more or less attractive for traders. And for this step, you need to understand the basics of decentralized exchanges and liquidity pools. If you just deploy a token, nobody will be able to buy or sell it. To enable trading, you need to create a liquidity pool in a decentralized exchange. A decentralized exchange allows anyone to buy and sell tokens on blockchain. In a decentralized exchange, trading is organized in liquidity pools. A liquidity pool has two assets. For example, our liquidity pool will be Puff Ether. We will be able to buy and sell Puff against Ether. When we create a liquidity pool, we need to provide an initial deposit for the two assets. In our case, it will be our token and ETH. It means that we need to choose the initial amount of Ether and the initial amount of token. For these two amounts, the higher the better since it makes it more difficult to manipulate the price. Be aware that you won't control the tokens initially provided to the liquidity pool. That's what we call locked liquidity. So make sure you have enough left for yourself, your team and the community. Okay, so back to TokPad. For this example, let's choose an initial supply of 80% of tokens and 0.05 Ether. Then we go to the next step, which is the airdrop. This is an optional step if you need to distribute some of the remaining tokens. We can put plan addresses or ENS addresses in this box. So here, let's airdrop 1% to a friend and we click on continue. This is the final review before the deployment. You can see the different parameters of the token, including the distributions of tokens. 80% token supply, 90% for you, including the 5% of TokPad and 1% for the airdrop. Everything looks fine, so we will click on deploy. We confirm the transaction with our wallet. And ta-da! The token is deployed! So you can see the address and the deployment transaction. And to make sure that everything is fine, we can check out the deployment transaction on Etherscan by clicking here. And you can see all the actions that took place. Creation of the token, creation of the liquidity pool, transfer of the initial liquidity to the pool, transfer of the commission of TokPad, the airdrop, and the transfer of the remaining tokens to you. And coming back to the previous screen, if you click on go to market, you will be redirected to the liquidity pool. Of course, there is no trading yet, so you won't see anything in the chat. But once the pool is active, you will see some activity. Wow, this tool did so much for us. Can you imagine if you had to do all of this by yourself? That would be a ton of work. So in the end, what did this cost us? So we have 73 cents in transaction fees plus $82.43 in initial Ether supply, which is about $83, and a 5% commission to TokPad paid from the token supply, which means you didn't pay any real money to TokPad. If you're not a coder, TokPad is an amazing tool that massively simplifies the token creation process. Contrary to similar tools that just do the token deployment, TokPad does absolutely everything including the creation of the liquidity pool and the supply of the initial liquidity. And even if you are a coder, TokPad can still be very useful because it can save you a lot of time if you deploy tokens for customers. To so go experiment with TokPad, I put the link down below. Thanks for watching, bye!